Let's do it. Okay. I don't bite that much. Uh, hey guys, I'm going to shoot an intro to the video. I told y'all I was going to take a video of some of the tree breaks uh, that are close to my property out here. I was contacted by one of my subscribers, wanted to come out and be here for that. And uh, of course, anybody, you know, if you get a hold of me and ask for permission and uh, want to, you know, do something like that, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's cool that she's out here today and the first time I've had a subscriber come out. So we're going to go out here and take some video of that. And uh, this is my son, Austin. Um, if you go to Bigfoot and More uh, channel, David's channel, where he did an interview with me about a Sasquatch we saw on the power line. This is my son. This is, he's the boy that saw it come out of the tree line and pointed it out to me that it was crossing over the, uh, the power line. So if you want to see that interview that David and I did and see the footage of the power line and that, uh, just go to David's channel, Bigfoot and More. And... Uh, Y'all like and subscribe to his channel. I don't care if you like and subscribe to mine, but like and subscribe his. And uh, we're going to go out here and we're going to check this out today. So, y'all, let's get to it. This thing is all I wanted to do. Just so we'll do better with my camera work today. I got enough ass chewing about my camera work last time. But I'm going to, first off, I'm not going to say all this stuff is Sasquatch type things. It's some of this is uh, storm damage, but there's such a large number of uh, tops. That are gone out of these trees. Is that dog poop? Oh, I don't know. I'm not the poop expert on that stuff. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna walk back here and look at some of these tree breaks that are just really close to the house. We're not gonna have to make a deep trip. I mean, I could probably see my house from where we're gonna be going to. And uh, I'm not saying there's all Sasquatch, but it just is kind of weird and peculiar. Half have so many tree breaks that some of these tree breaks look like they're smooth, broke, snapped off, not like a storm would do, and sometimes the tops are missing. So, here, right here, going into the woods, here's some stuff right here. Now, it's kind of peculiar how smaller trees that are protected by larger trees are the ones that are damaged. How come these larger trees aren't blown down but one up here in the middle of the woods is broken over? That makes me think that it's not storm damage. Because how is it getting storm damage when all these other larger trees and stuff are, are surrounding it that protect it? So this is one right here that is just straight snapped off across here. There's another one. It's right there laying on top of this one with it. But I don't see, I mean, it might be, I don't see a stump for it down there. Uh, there's another one. Broke right here with it. It's laying across here. It's got another tree laying here across it. It could be storm damage, but it's awful weird how these smaller trees are broken like this if it's storm damage and all the other surrounding trees are not. Plus, I've got video that you hear loud tree limb snaps and breaks on video uh, that I recorded early on. Not a hog activity still. Yeah. You see how close this is to the house. This is what this is some of the stuff that I that I, I saw when I come out here when I found that print recently. But see that's broke off, but this one here had to break first. <laughs> that one had to break first. You know, and what caused this one to break? That one broke first, and this one broke. But see this right here. This one's laid up there with it. I don't see a stump for it down there. See that here? Yeah. There's a little stump for it. And it's laid on top of that one, but this thing kind of be... Well, then you got this one right here. It's weird. Oh. Right there. Uh, well, you know, that right there might be rotted off. Uh, might just fell later on after these were broke, but it just seems peculiar because these other trees around here aren't damaged like that is. Uh, 
There's some more stuff right okay. here. I want y'all to know that you're probably going to see me go in, in a running fall before the day's over. Yeah. Dying, like this. this looks a little bit busy right here. Yeah. I see this stuff here. This right here, that's old. That's, that's rotted shit right there. That's just see this sitting up here. That's you see me coming through this rotted. But that one's coming through. Yeah, let's see what's coming through. I guess this one. What gives me uh this one right here looks like it, it broke from right here. Looks like it broke. This one broke from right here. I guess as it was falling, it probably fell between them trees and it caused it to roll over. To where it's at now, cause, yeah. Because it would fall and land between them limbs, and then it rolled over up against that tree. But it, yeah, it, it's 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 busy. It's busy right here. I'm not yeah, some of us pulling at it, but the thing about it is, where we're at, sorry about that start that bad camera work, but where we're at is such a proximity to that living tree where there's been so much action since all this started. But you got all the, the hogs moving through here, but uh, there's some more stuff broke off. See, here's another one right here snapped off up high. Uh, that's probably about 10 foot off the ground snapped off. That one right there snapped off about six and a half foot into the air. And it's been down for a while, but y'all got to realize that I've never been back here to look for this type of stuff. I, I never noticed any of these trees broke until I come out here looking for that footprint that day. While we're out here, I'll I walk over. I haven't seen anything that's like taken and twisted. I'm going to show you that. It's over here. I'm okay, gonna, cool. I'll show you that one that, I, that is people flipped out when they saw that at the base. It's twisted. It's over here. Had to locate it. Yeah, you see? Got Look right there at that one. That one snapped off. But there's the... See, this one here snapped off. But right there's the top piece of it right there. Some of it. I don't see the rest of the top. See this? You see that's rotted. That probably just broke off. That, that makes sense. But it snapped off. Um, right around here is the one that I posted a video of yesterday. But it's still alive. It's, it's not even a dead tree. And it snapped off at a fork at the top. We will have to located yes, I, mean, I guess you know it could fall out of that tree at one time and just catch on that one tree but it showed it's all set up there it, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to hold my camera up. I'm going to do better.
Let me get the bird. I'm going back this way. I gotta find that real clear. I know it ain't that far from the house. A lot of some of this just store damage. Man, I'm gonna walk back over here. I'm gonna look for that twist. That I, I gotta find that twist in that limb that I, I know it's over here, not too far from the house. I'm gonna run over and find it real quick. I say real quick. I used to, I mean, I, I used to be able to come straight out behind my parents' house and walk right to it, but I tell you. David found it again last time. It was uh, within view of the first time we put game cameras up. Okay. I hope I ain't moving this camera around too fast. Get y'all bitching at me. Trying to slow it down. I ain't trying to zoom in. There's gonna be times I let the camera down because I'm looking at something else and not concentrating on the camera, but. God, I promise you one thing, it won't be as bad as it was last time. God, that camera worked last time was a nightmare. Still looking for this tree branch. Also, let me look for it. It's about eight, nine foot up. It's the limbs facing this way, and it's twisted right where it meets the tree. I used to walk right to it, but that was back when there wasn't any foliage and leaves on the trees. I'm going to tell y'all something I ain't ever even told y'all before. But, you know, I'm shooting at everybody and blowing up, coming out top of Thunder style. They've never shown any acts of aggression. I did this right here one time and one time only. I noticed this in a video from the habitation, uh, habituation, I mean, at, uh, from Paris, Texas. It's kind of famous for the VHS. They had the five-gallon bucket screwed to the tree. This is the only one I've ever done like that. And it is empty. And you just, believe me or you don't, but I put an entire bag of fruit in that bucket. Apple, I mean, I, it was uh, red delicious apples, the green apples, and oranges. It was right there. Uh, now, I did this a little while back, but uh, I haven't been back out to check it because I really, don't, I really just didn't care, I mean, you know, too much about coming to check it because one thing I didn't want to be seen coming out here looking at it every day like it was some type of trap because it wasn't meant to be as a trap. It was just kind of like, hey, I'm sorry for uh, shooting at your kids kind of thing. It was a peace offering. I'm not going to make a habit of it. I don't plan to ever do the gifting again. But it was just kind of like a, you send a basket, you know. It was just kind of like, a, hey, I'm sorry I shot at your kids and Dead calm today. I 
see a limb moving back there. It could be a squirrel jumping around. Here, I'll take a look at it. Like I was saying, I put that up as a one-time deal, kind of like peace offering. Not that there hasn't been peace, but just kind of like, hey, you know, sorry I freaked out, shot at your kid, you know, no hard feelings. Here's a gift basket. It was apples and oranges. Mix it with the apples, like I said, it's red delicious, the green apples, and some oranges. Uh, every bit of it's gone. So... That's cool. I don't see any of it around here. But I did it like that. Like I seen another guy, like I said, a video done from the habituation in Paris, Texas. Because, you know, doing it like that makes it harder. It's up off the ground. So the only thing they can reach in that bucket will be something that have to crawl into it. And uh, so I try to make it, makes it a little harder for them to get something out of it. But there's no cameras back here. I've removed all the game cameras from right around here. Uh, I do have game cameras that watch the perimeter of my property, but those are for trespassers, not for Sasquatch. People that say, oh, put some game cameras up near this and see if you can get them on camera. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You put a camera up over here to try to catch something from this, ain't nothing going to come up missing out of it. They're not going to come around it. They, I'll, people say, oh, well, that leaning tree, why, well, well, I don't understand why you ain't got a camera over there to capture when they come, because I'm going to tell you why. I put a camera over by that leaning tree. They're going to come some other, what, some another place to use as their uh, observation point instead of that leaning tree. The reason why I haven't put a camera close to that leaning tree is because I do not want them to switch up their observation point. If they like looking from there, I want them to continue looking from there because that makes it easier for me to look and, and, look, at, and look at to see if I see them on cameras in the distance or, you know, if I walk outside. I'll put a camera up over there close to that damn leaning tree. All that's going to do is say, hey, we're not going to that leaning tree anymore. We're going to start uh, watching from over here. And then i got to try to figure out where they're watching at from now because they didn't change it up. That's all you're going to get out of putting a camera over there by that leaning tree is they're going to change their observation point. And then i got to try to figure out where that is. Lucky enough to figure it out this first time. Don't want to have to do it again. So that's why there's no cameras over there. Oh, I found it finally. It's been a while since uh, I took a picture of that back in the day. That was back in December. So it's fell to the ground a little bit now, but this is the one that was twisted. Watch out, baby boy. It's that one that was twisted to where it was split as it was twisted. I've got a picture of it when it was fresh. I mean, it had to be just done because we put the game cameras up on December the 7th. And this happened around December the 9th. But that's that twisted limb. It's like I said, it's not in the same shape it was when I took a picture of it, but at least I located it. Uh, like I said, it ain't as pretty as it was whenever I found it on December 9th. But if you look around on my community page, you'll find a picture yeah, of that. Or on my imager, uh, there's pictures of this when it was fresh. But uh, you see where it was twisted. It looks real, hang on for a second, I'm going to do a redneck photo insertion. Bam! That right there is what it looked like when it was new. Fresh split. There it is today. See, that's how you insert a photograph into a video right there for rednecks. You hold it out there on your phone and record that picture on your phone right there. That's how you do it. That's when it was fresh. There it is. So, whenever it was fresh like that, the limb was still up in the air up here. It's going to fell down here now, but... Uh, like I said, that was back December 9th, so at least I found it again. Try not to move as fast as that camera work. Try. Like I said, it ain't going to be perfect. It ain't going to be king king. But uh, it damn sure ain't going to be as bad as it was last time. Jesus Christ. Give me, Lord. Something quiet. Oh, yeah. I noticed that, too. I seen a limb moving back over here. That bird that's over there. Well, we can't hear nothing because I won't stop talking. That's my problem. I got to tell y'all all about it. Boy, 
I wonder if we're going to see another one in Blackberry like we did the other day. It had a subscriber point out that what I believe to be a Blackberry. You see the little pointed ears. And uh, see its eyes looking at me. It seems to turn and walk away as I start filming in this direction. But that was surprising. I had to go and Google. Sure enough, the county I live in, in Oklahoma, is one of the few counties that you're allowed to hunt black bear during the season. And there's a population of black bear around here, even though I've never seen any before. But sure made me step my game up. I had to bring my bring my cowboy jewelry. Zoom out. Here we go. I had to bring my cowboy jewelry with me today. So we got a little more stopping power. Get my son here by 45. That way he don't feel left out. Lord hope he don't crawl out of the holster. He's good at playing guitar, but he's probably worse than me as a shot. I, mean, I can't get nothing. Well, you finally watched them walk into the guy's tent so he was there with me. And I, I said, little brother, big sister, mama, and then big daddy came walking in. And Jim said, he, they were getting in the tent, and Jim said, y'all put that stuff back, and he didn't yell or anything. That big one just kind of turned and looked at him, and then just turned his back on him. You know, he was from here to that tree right there, that wobbly tree. Mm -hmm. And I, I found, I knew my place on the step ladder of life, and it was not on the top rung right there. He didn't, he didn't, they didn't care that we saw us, but, you know, I, I got the... It was like the whole night was the impression of they weren't scared of us. It's just don't get close to them, don't mess with them. I tell you, you know, what surprised me, like I said, whenever I uh, whenever that night of the juvenile was coming up, uh, what surprised me the most about it was I come out with a pistol and a flashlight. They know I was coming out looking for them. But they didn't, they didn't feel the need that I was a big enough threat with that gun and that flashlight to be a threat. They uh, stayed behind that playhouse and chose to sit there and outmaneuver me yeah. instead of uh, retreating. So, And they did it. That's just so supreme confidence in their abilities. They were and, up in Jim's campsite messing around. They went across the street to this woman, two kids, and the dog that had barked all day. But that dog was making no noise. So we went up to Jim's. And then we went back down the line, and they came back to Jim's, and they got on the ground and was crawling up to me. I don't even see thickness like it was there. And I could see their eyes shine. I was watching them watch me watch them. And they just were waiting for us to either leave or go to bed or something. I'll tell and you. there was a single wood knock. And I saw the eyes shine backing up. I heard them hit the creek, and the dogs start barking on down the creek. So that single wood knocked in meant leave there. I don't know if it meant come here. You know, I never. He talks about uh, firsthand knowledge, and yeah, I'd rather hear about somebody that's got some firsthand experience and what they learned <laughs> than what they, somebody saw in an Amazon Prime documentary. But uh, it's just amazing me how when the juveniles are so young that they have such an advanced skill set already in evasion and stealth at such a young age. Um, you know, based off their height, you know, people say they might be six years old and they already have a high level of evasion and stealth. Man, it's just hard to even fathom what a 20 year old uh, is capable of after perfecting that skill set over 20 years. As good as the juveniles are at such a young age. I witnessed that one that was a small like a chimpanzee. Turns back to me and squat down uh, when I was shining my flashlight, and uh, and it's slowly moving, positioning itself in front of that corner post, and that just amazed me that it had that skill set to know to move in small increments because you're less likely to be noticed. To squat and turn its back to me, minimizing my chance of seeing it at night time when I'm flashing with the flashlight. Already at such a young age. It just goes to show you that from birth, they are taught one, one skill set right off the bat. Stealth and evasion from birth. And that's what amazes me that being so young and having that skill set. And, uh, and the supreme confidence in it.
Go ahead, bad boy. Tall green. Look at that. Look at that. Also, you keep them young eyes peeled, boy. You can see stuff way better than the old man can. I tell you, doing this has made me want to go back to the eye doctor and get my damn eyeglasses updated. Because I tell you, I got such piss poor eyesight that I've been grown used to it. But trying to look for stuff and do this, I'm just going to go back and get, get my damn glasses updated. I can see better. Coming out on the power line up here. This is where my son and I had that siding of that massive, I'm assuming, nail crossed over the power line. Pretty quiet. Got that not so fresh feeling. Man, if I'm doing better on that camera, y'all better let me know. Don't feel fucking up. Don't tell me. Got a good damn zoom on it. Here's the junk I need to use. Yeah, I was well, skeptical. Well, hold on, let me tell you first. Of course, I was, I was We're on skeptical. the power, hold on, baby. We was at the power line. Okay. Right down there at that second pole, way down there. Let me put my finger on if I can get my finger in the damn. Put my finger at shit. Here we go. Right way down there is where I saw that one crossing over at. My son, let me back on the zoom. My son actually saw it cross over from over here and cross over. I seen it by the second pole. Now also, I'm just going to let you talk, and what you saw, as I was coming back, and I was approaching this gate right there, because I went down there to take a comparison pic. He stayed where we saw it at, right here. I went up to the pole. He took comparison video and pictures, and as I was walking back, go ahead, babe. So, whenever we went down there to inspect, whenever we saw it crossing, the, uh, crossing past the poles, then I was, of course, skeptical of everything that, you know, Dad said, and I said, well... How about this? How about I walk down here where we seen it and you stand up there and let me see if it looks the same. Well, I got down here and wasn't nowhere near what we saw. And so I called and said, come on down. And as he was walking down, it was almost like a dog behind him, like running back and forth, following him in a way. 
and he just kept on coming down his dad started coming down and I call him I'm like what's that behind you what do you mean what's behind me I'm like you must have heard that it was running all around you he's like I didn't hear nothing I'm like yeah, for you, you had to have heard that it was running all around you going through the grass. You tell me you didn't hear that? Freaked me out. I went up in there and, oh my God. I'll never forget that, how it was just running back and forth all around him, everything behind him. Tell me about once I got through the gate down there. What, what do you mean? You said whenever I got through the gate that it, it stayed on the other side of the gate and was moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, whenever you got through the gate, it stood on the other side for a minute and watched you come down and then it shot off left. Where we seen the other the big one move yeah i never heard that he called me on my phone he said what's that moving behind you what are you talking about he said it's moving on all fours it's coming through the grass it's moving you got to hear it because it's close to you i spun around i didn't see anything and i had my damn i had that small 1080p rear camera on and it done went dead yeah. and one recording shit so of course you know that's how it goes uh now i make sure i try to keep my stuff on charge before I know I'm going out, but I sure had a, uh, a rear-facing camera attached to my hat, and the damn thing had went dead. And it's one of those models that you have to push the start and you have to put the stop. If you just, if it dies during recording, it doesn't save the recording if you don't press the stop button. So, anyway, well guys, I'm fat and I'm old. I'm heading my ass back up to the house, get me something to drink. It's hot, it's humid. Y'all stay cool and. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Oh. Okay, thank you, thank you. Dr. Pepper sounds cold in A&W. Thank you very much, oh, Dr. Pepper. I'm going to tell y'all something I ain't never tell people because I don't like telling people like I missed it by that much. But you know, right there is a pan tilt zoom camera it's on the corner of my house. I can control it spinning around. I spun it around one night facing this area right here. Back up, there was a juvenile standing about right here. When that camera spun around, it was coming, he was coming, it was coming into view. He was standing right here. I saw him dive into these bushes. I hit, I wasn't recording like a dumbass, but I hit record and I got the bushes moving when nothing else was moving. But now I can, at night I'll sit here and watch and I'll see eye shine right down in here. And if you look, this is one of the spots that that juvenile likes to sit and watch. Uh, look at, uh, see how everything's beat down down in there? All that stuff's laid down. I'm gonna show you. Walk down here. Now, I posted a picture the other day of something standing by this post. You see a head, with two eyes. About right here. People go, they didn't shoot there. I was gonna delete it. Fuck them. But look at it from this vantage point how everything's pushed down where it's been sitting and it looks out through them trees. But if you notice, all this shit's pushed down right here. And it's pushed down all the way coming next to that corner post. And look right down through there. All that shit's been smashed down coming. So what it does, it crawls from back here coming down where all this shit's been pushed down. And it gets right down in here. And you see all this shit right there smashed down. And that right there, all that stuff, and he gets right down in there, and he watches the house from there, which is also close to the kids' room. And I saw him standing here, camera coming around, his ass turned around and dove in them damn bushes when that camera was just spinning around, catching him in view. That old pan tilt and zoom camera threw him off guard. Y'all bitch about cameras, y'all didn't know I had that camera.